हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अवर चैनल रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी स्टडी ग्रुप इन टुडे सेशन वील गोइंग टू बी टॉक अबाउट द कैटेगरीज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड द ई वेस्ट एंड ऑल्सो द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ द ई वेस्ट एज वी नो दैट द ई वेस्ट एंड ई वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट इज अ टीडियस एंड फंडामेंटल इंपॉर्टेंस नाउ डेज वी आर गेटिंग ड्यू टू द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द ह्यूमन बींग as you know that the every person every human being is utilizing the electronics like a mobile computer the home appliances that we can say and that is the amount of the e waste which is getting generated in a system also that is more and that is why it is very essential for us to categorize the electronics and the e waste for the further e waste management so we'll start with our today's session so we'll talk about the overall categories of the electronics and the e waste whenever we say there are multiple total 54 categories are there when we talk about the electrical and electronic equipment but in general we classify it into the total six kind of an category which is a commonly characteristics category that we can consider whenever we segregate the electronics atom also the first and effective atom that we can say it is a temperature exchange equipment as you know that the everyone is utilizing the refrigerator what we can say the electronic and the air conditioning system the deep freezer and all other parameter including the geyser also and all other parameter also which is related about the temperature exchange kind of an equipment that you can say the when we see the total data over here we'll find that e waste in this category was 10.8 metric ton in the 2019 and with a 7% growth from 2014 that you can say how effectively this particular parameter or temperature exchange equipments has been increasing in the overall world second thing that we can categorize is the monitors and the screen as you know that the importance of a computer mobile phones and all other parameters is very very important nowadays and that is why the waste generated it is also been very high including the television screens laptop monitor tablets notebook computer this are included in this category whenever we see the data total 16.7 metric ton in 2019 has been generated and there is a steep 3% growth from 2014 in this collection of this data the third category that we can identify is the generalized lamps category you can say which is been consisting of an cfl bulb incandescent bulb led bulbs every parameter which is been related about the lamps and the bulb system that you can say and total category when we see it is 0.9 metric ton in 2019 and there is a steep growth of 4% from 2014 in in this category next kind of an equipment category that we can consider is the large equipment large equipment is consisting of most of the equipment been used in the residential sector like any business or residential sector that also you can consider like a store tops washing machines cloth dryer printing and copier machines xerox machine photovoltaic panel this has been consisting generalized category that you can say actually which has been not been included in the any other category which has been the large kind of the equipment that you can say this kind of the waste is 13.1 metric ton in 2019 and there is a growth of 5% from 2014 as per the data in this particular categorized collection the fifth category consisting of the small equipment small equipment is a day to day equipment that we are utilizing at our household industrial sector commercial sector business sector that you can say like microwave oven toaster oven vacuum machines ventilation equipment electronic toys scales calculator power tools small medical and monitoring devices all has been included in terms of an small equipment total 17.4 metric ton from 2019 and there is a growth of 4% in the growth from 2014 as per the data of the world data that you can say the sixth and last category which is been there as a small it and telecommunication electronic equipment small it and telecommunication electronic equipment that we can consider like the mobile phone cell phones gps devices any other pocket electronic devices calculator personal computer printer router this has been considered as a small it and telecommunication electronic equipment whenever we see the data that is 4.7 metric ton from 2019 and there is a growth of 2% from 2014 in this particular category calculation whenever we see the overall this so total six categories are very much important whenever we talk about the waste management and that to be the electronic and electrical waste management in this particular sector 
whenever we see the overall data in the e-waste composition data that you can say out of the 100% when we see there is a large equipment that you can say which is having and the small equipment also the overall percentage 32.5% will be the small equipment that the residential business sector commercial and industrial sector are utilizing large equipment which is having the 24.4% thereafter we can say the temperature exchange equipment which has been collected as 20.1%. The screens monitor will be the 12.5%. Thereafter, the telecom devices of 8.8% and lamps of 1.7%. So this is the overall e-waste composition which has been segregated, collected at overall uh, world basis. The data has been given in this particular graph. So we can identify this particular categorized sector wise whenever we see it is very useful for the management purpose also. Whenever any country is forming any policy regarding the e-waste management also, it has been considered the amount of the data which has been collected, the categorizable segregation in that particular sector also. Companies also can able to collect this particular e-waste based upon the categorical segregation of this e-waste and e-waste management. Hello everyone, we are belonging to the Renewable Energy uh, Study Group. So we are providing more courses based upon the renewable sector like variety of the courses we are providing from solar sector solar power plant designing wind sector designing biogas rainwater harvesting e-waste management solid waste management carbon footprint calculation and more other kind of the courses generalized and daily basis we are giving the offers on the bundle courses that you can find and you can endeavor your knowledge in the solar sector waste management sector carbon footprint sector and all other renewable sector over here you can see the description box for the more offers. You can visit our website www.renewableenergystudygroup.in. Do like, share and subscribe our channel for more information in this renewable sector.